Rail scopes are interesting, unusual devices for displaying the complexity of fluid motion. For more about them and how to make them, please click on the link provided. If you decide you want to make your own clearoscope, you're going to need some rayoscopic fluid to fill it with. While it can be purchased from many sources, it tends to be expensive and the ones I've tried really don't look all that good. It's much cheaper to make your own by mixing mica powder or rayostatic concentrate with water. The problem is which mica powder or rayostatic concentrate works best. That's what this video will determine. It compares ready-made, made from concentrate, and railscopic fluid made from six different powders to see which performs best. Let's get started. Glass number one is one cup of pre-made railstatic fluid from Innovating Science. Number two is one cup of water with one teaspoon of Steve Spangler's railscopic fluid concentrate. Three is Franklin Arsenal's ground mica. Four is Art Ingredients Silver Mica Powder. Five is Fundamental Rock Hound 0 0.03 micron aluminum oxide. This isn't mica. I just thought it was such a fine powder. I'd give it a try and see how it worked. Six is Stardust Mica Pearl. Seven is Slice of the Moon Silvery White. This is the 10 to 100 micron mica. You have to be careful ordering this stuff because all the bottles look the same and they have about five or six different types and they each have different size uh, mica particles. You want the smallest they have and I think this is it. And lastly, number eight is Pearl X 650 Micro Pearl. This is 10 to 60 micron mica. All of the powders were mixed at the rate of 1 12th of a teaspoon per cup of water and then all of the products had one drop of blue food coloring added to increase the contrast and make it easier to see the fluid flow. All right, let's give each of them a stir and see how they look. All right, number three and number five don't show any railscopic effect. They just look like cloudy water. Four, six, and seven show pretty good railscopic effect. You can see the currents, but when you get close, you can see they're very glittery. And I found this distracting. It makes the flow look a little grainy and unnatural. Number one, the pre-made is a little, uh, dull. It's hard to see the, uh, the fluid flow, whereas number two and number eight by far look the best. Here are the three mixes that look kind of glittery. I thought you'd like a close-up look in case one of these is actually something you'd like to use. And here are the two that look the best to me. Next, what we need to see is if there are any long-term issues with any of these mixes. To test which products were stable in terms of color retention and ability to work after being stored on the shelf, I let the eight mixtures sit overnight to see what had changed. What I found is that number three, Franklin Arsenal, number four, the Art Ingredients Mica Powder, and number eight, the Pearl X Micro Pearl, all turned a rather dull violet, which I didn't think looked very good. This is the point against each of them because if you want a blue coloroscope, you want it to remain blue.
Which mixes change color may be influenced by the color used. For example, uh, number one, Innovating Science, and number two, Steve Spangler's, which held the blue color very well. When I mixed them with red, after a couple of hours, it turned orange. Let's mix them up and see if any other changes happened overnight. All right, again, Steve Spangler's mix seems to be working about the best. Six and seven look good, but again, these are the real glittery ones that tend to settle out very quickly. The most disturbing thing is that number eight, the Pearl X, has clumped up and you can't stir it enough to get it to work like a rheostatic fluid anymore. So as good as this stuff looks when it's freshly mixed, if it sits on the shelf for any period of time, it's a lost cause. What this test told me was that the best way to make railscopic fluid is to use number two, Steve Spangler's Railscopic Fluid Concentrate. It provides the best views of fluid motion, is color stable, at least with blue, and retains its ability to produce railscopic flows even after sitting on the shelf for long periods of time. In fact, that is what this clearoscope uh, is filled with. However, if you need several gallons of mix and are going to use it once and immediately get rid of it, consider Pearl X Micro Pearl. At $1.30 per gallon after mixing, it's a lot cheaper than Steve Spangler's concentrate, which ends up costing about eight and a half dollars per gallon after mixing. I hope you found this experiment useful if you're thinking of making a caloroscope or need some railscopic fluid for some other purpose. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to visit my main website at waynesthisandthat.com.